So this is my website. And as I scroll down, it will scroll normally like any other website. But here's the catch. When I reach this section and I scroll down, my website will now move horizontally. And again, it will scroll vertically when I reach end of the section. Now, this is just a basic design, but using my steps, you can easily create variations like this or this. You can put images, videos, buttons, or text here to make your site look really cool. So let's get started. To build the vertical and horizontal scroll effect, we first need to create different sections. I've got a container ready here and I've set the width to full width and the height to 100 VH. Next, go to the style tab and change the background color to, I'll choose this one. Then I've got this second container right below the first one. This is the container that I'll be using to hold the three sections that are going to scroll horizontally. Okay, just make sure to set the wrap to no wrap here. Go to advanced settings and change the margins and padding to zero. Now let's set a CSS class for this container to link it to the code we add later. I'll add the CSS class as wrapper. Now let's add the three sections for the horizontal scroll. I'll drag this container here and make sure it covers the entire screen. I'll mark it as number two. And from here, let's change the color to green. Okay, go to advanced now, set the size to grow and scroll down to the CSS class section. I'll add a CSS class called slide and duplicate it two more times. Okay, don't forget to change the background color and numbers for the new container to avoid confusion. So my first container is for vertical scroll and these sets of containers will be for horizontal scroll. Pretty understandable, right? Once done, it should look like this. Now go to the navigator and select the wrapper container. I just go to the layout tab, remove the gaps from here and set the direction to this. Also make sure that no wrap is selected for it. Then click on additional options here and set the overflow as hidden. As you can see, the other two containers are hidden now and we can only see the second section now. Okay, we only need one more container at the end. So I'll duplicate this first container, bring it down here and name it end. All right, here comes the most important part. We need to add the codes to make the vertical and horizontal scrolling work. But before that, we'll add a bunch of images, text, button and codes to our site for the scrolling effect. The codes we'll be using are lightweight, but eventually your site will get slow with time. So I've got a permanent and a free solution for you. My team created this free tool called Airlift, where you just have to put your URL and it will automatically optimize every image and code snippet on your site. Airlift minimizes the CSS and HTML codes and even lazy loads the image. This way, your site will always be fast, giving you that smooth scrolling experience. Trust me, you'll thank me later. So go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. Now that your site is optimized, let's add code for the scrolling effect. To do that, go to element of widget panel and look for the HTML widget. Add it here and paste the code from the description below. Now go to the navigator and select the wrapper container. Go to advanced, scroll down to the custom CSS section and again paste the code here from the description below. Okay, I'll just edit all these slides and remove the placeholders now. You can add any widget, element, video, or image here. I'll just add some background images, text, and buttons to the different slides. Once done, it will look something like this. Okay, let's try out the scrolling now. I'll update the page and preview it. And as you can see, the first section has this smooth horizontal scroll to the next slide. Then it scrolls horizontally and finally, it ends with another vertically scrolling section. Oh, and if you face any errors, be sure to check all the horizontal sliders after duplicating them. Sometimes the CSS class might not be added correctly. 
So just confirm that all the horizontal sections have the slide CSS class. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.